And there's an interesting way to short Bitcoin now. The first Bitcoin ETF, ticker BITI, uh, launched about a week ago. And a lot of people said, well, okay, that should be the bottom, but maybe history is saying something different. Yeah, you know, we look at these ETF providers kind of like magazine cover indicators, right? You know, the right. journalists traditionally do an awesome job at, you know, aggregating consumer sentiment and investor sentiment, right? They're really good at that to the point where they create a magazine cover. So if you're interested in like, you know, uh, by the but my, my whole point is by the time the journalists finally come to this conclusion, which takes time, and then they take it to, you know, the, 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 art designers and get everything approved. It's like a process. So by the time you actually get that on the cover, it's usually pretty late in the cycle, right? That's just, that's how it is. The journalists are great at that. That's their job, right? <laughs> the, the ETF companies is very similar. They aggregate sort of consumer and investor sentiment, see what investors want. Like, what is it that they want? What vehicle do they want? By the time you get everything approved and da da da, it's usually late in the cycle for very similar reasons. So it's sort of like two different parties telling a similar story of how consumers and investors are thinking at any given time. And it, it's probably not a coincidence that every time one of these futures uh, are launched or something like that, they tend to come at peaks when there is um, you know, euphoria and that's what people want. And now when there is extremes in pessimism, what are you getting? You're getting a vehicle to now short it. Where was this a year ago? <laughs>